Captain Schultz here to Swamp Salty Adventures. We're out here this afternoon up here in Perdido Key putting on some dirty boxers, fish plates, fight club. We're gonna come out here and see what we can't come up with. Um, only have one of this color left, so this will probably be the ones that they chew on. But either way, we'll still come out here. We've got different colors that we're going to use. You know, the charters have kind of slowed down for the year. I do mostly offshore. don't get a whole lot of time inshore. So we're just going to come up through, hit these docks, see what we can't come up with here today. Uh, fishing some dirty boxers on Fish Bites Fight Club. We're out here in Perdido, hitting these docks, calling for storms here later this afternoon, so not going too far from the house. Just, uh, I've never fished this shoreline up through here. If you, you can look, it looks like pretty good cover. Um, don't know how productive it is. The water might be a little out. My goal was to go out and look for some cleaner water, but I thought, you know, I'm right here. Let me just try these docks. This shoreline goes all the way down on the Florida side. You know, figured I'd hit, hit some of these docks, see if they don't produce some fish. Um, thinking they might not, that's brown water. It's, it's clearing up a little bit. Um, you may have to go search for some, some cleaner water here at some point. Um, You try to find us a pattern, get on some good fish, um, see if we can't pick up a few. I have no ice on the boat. I'm just out here catch and release pretty much. Now, I will tell you if I happen to land a big slot size red fish, uh, more than likely I'll fill up the fish box and keep him for dinner later. Um, but outside of that, we're just Hanging out, having a good time. Oh, there's a bite right there. There's something nibbling right there. Oh, come on, must be a little pinfish probably. Nothing. Oh, picked it up and let it go. Let's see if I got a tail. Could have been crab, I guess. Let's get back in there and see if we can't get Let's see, a little bit further back. Beautiful day, no wind. Be able to get my cast into shoreline. I'm, I'm in my offshore boat, so getting, getting in closer, getting into the shallower water sometimes is a, a little bit difficult. Oh, there's something biting right there. Pinfish are tearing me up. I don't think my boxer tail is going to last very long. But most definitely, getting some bites in there. Come on, let's go. Be a big redfish laying in there, that'd be sweet. Nothing happening there. Just found me a spot. Had a school of trout follow me up and just nip my tail of my dirty boxer off. Um, so now I'm gonna have to switch baits. I'm out of this color. Let's see what a different color is going to be. Water's a little bit clearer in here. What do we, 
This is biting me. Little pinfish, it looks like. Tearing me up with the haymaker. Let's see what uh, what happens with these. Again. There we go. Oh, there we go. Might keep this one down. Poor man's tarpon. I think we're going to try this matrix shad out. See if we can't come up with something on this matrix shad. Well, the ladies like the matrix. We don't want it fast too. Jerking the heck out of it. And they're just nailing it. It's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Might not be trout or redfish, but they sure are fun to play with. Oh, right on it. Right on the drop. Man, there's a big old score ladies in here. There's, there's a good fish, good little lady. <laughs> See, man, tell me that water's not cleared up a lot. We just out here having a good time. Fishing is fishing. And a lot of people, oh, I want to catch that trophy redfish. I want to catch that trophy trout. I could come out here and play with these ladyfish all day long just for something to do in here a little bit closer maybe there is a big old redfish sitting around here eating on these ladies who knows a big old school of them in here i usually don't film do a constant filming out on the offshore charters it's a little bit harder to stay focused and keep your cameras focused i um, didn't invest in three or four different camera angles and three or four cameras on you know I'm all just more about the fishing than it is to me the filming you know they say it brings you business and I'm sure it does you know I've had quite a few customers say they've seen some of my videos and which has attracted them to the charter you know one thing I'd like to say though is and I try to tell my customers is people don't ever post the days that they don't catch anything <laughs> they're always posting those big catches you know I do the same thing you know we like to brag about the good stuff that we catch we don't necessarily brag about the days that we don't do so hot it's all about getting out here on the water enjoying the salt life you know, enjoying a day seeing what's out here and what's biting looking for new patterns trying to find that right water the right temp right flow dodging storms making sure you don't get caught out here in some haywire storm trying to not to get wiped out by mother nature i might be on some local spot that they're gonna have a fit because i post this on facebook or instagram or youtube and, you know i don't mean to offend nobody with what i'm doing i just like to people to enjoy what i'm doing try to enjoy what I know or share what I know I'm sorry you, know, you got a lot of good guys out there you know we're gonna get out there and do the best we can with them you know show people that fishing can be fun it doesn't have to always be competitive and we don't always have to go out looking for that trophy fish every time you know, sometimes the whole sport of it, and they, they do call it a sport, is just the challenge. We challenges, challenge ourselves each and every day. 
and different things and us people that like to fish and hunt you know catching them is one of those challenges and one of those techniques that we enjoy and if we don't catch them we ain't gonna quit we're just gonna go back out next time and try a little bit harder just found a school of lady fish little ones we're hitting on a oh there we go oh, man they're hitting right off the bat come on oh, got them that one that one's hooked Popped them off. We're now down to a down south lure, paddle tail. One of my good Texas lures. I used a lot down in Texas when I lived there. There's a redfish. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. That's good slot red right there. Hell yeah. Caught on the matrix. Good red. There he is. Oh yeah, folks. 21 inches. We'll take A nice 21 inch slot red, matrix shad right here in this little cut you see where it gets real shallow along the weed line and then it drops off about a foot right along this edge I don't know if you can see it in this water you get up here and we can see where the grass line starts right here where it drops that red I saw him pick it up right at that drop so we're going to cast in here a couple more times, see if we can't pick up another one. I've got my limit for the day. Got dinner in the box. Um, but now we're just fishing for fun. To the Fish Bites Fight Club Haymaker. I'm going to throw that out a few times along here, see if we can't get another bite. I'm going with the Fish Bites Counter Punch. See what we can come up with on that. Kayaker out of here. No, oh, I'm trying to go around you. Doing any good? That's an exceptional fish, but they're slow. Real slow today. Yeah. I, I got one slot red. Nice. Just right here in this cut. Right along the edges. Fished up this bank here, folks. You can see how pretty that bank is. Caught me a nice red fish off of there. So I moved out here a little bit deeper. Throwing a Miradine uh, jerk shad. Seeing if I can't come up with, you know, something a little different. You know, hit some ladyfish, got a redfish out here in a little bit deeper water. See if I can't pull up a nice speck. It's a trout. Yeah, that's a trout. There we go. drifting now <clears throat> casting 
that I just go ahead and uh, drag that bait behind the boat. See, see if I can't pick something else up out here. Trying some different techniques. Haven't thrown top water yet. It's kind of late in the day or in the middle of the afternoon. I can't imagine our top water bite being too good at this this time of day. Well, got a nice trout. Got a redfish. All I need is a flounder to catch me a inshore slam today. That'd be something else. Well, folks, Cap Schultz here. It's been fun. Got me a trout, redfish, a few ladyfish. But uh, I think it's about time to head back to the dock. It's starting to cloud up. A little bit of thunder heading up ahead. So. We'll get back up on the dock, get the boat cleaned up before the storm hits. Thanks for joining me, um, and let's go fishing. TwistedPalmSaltyAdventures.com. Look me up. I'm on the web. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I even have a Twitter account that I never use, uh, and I do a YouTube channel. So look me up. Uh, Larry Schultz, L -L Laha, L L A H A Schultz, and Twisted Palms Salty Adventures are my sites. Check them out. We'll see you out on the water. Go on. All right, folks. Captain Schultz here. Caught me a redfish today. And I want to show you this new Beyond Blade knife. Oh, look at that spot right there. Pretty fish. Got not too many spots. I want to show you this how good this Beyond Blade knife warp is. Works pretty good. Comes right down that bone. Boom. Boom. Clean this fish right out. Find them pin bones. Go right down the side of them. Step the lay off. Flip it over. Get up under the skin. fish is clean all right and as I showed you earlier on video clip get this bloodline pull that bloodline right out of that redfish boom 